making the Stuart Model Steam Planter Part 71, constructing the pipe runs for drainage to the sump. There are three of these pipes, one from the engine's mounting, one from the water gauge blowdown valve and one from the condenser. The first of the pipes needs to go from the engine's mounting to the sump. This will drain any oil and water residue that the engine drops inside the box bed when it's running. For this I'm using 3 16ths of an inch diameter piping and I'm using my medium sized pipe bender. I need to make bends in strategic places and here I'm marking the position of one of the bends with a felt tip pen. And for the bending I'm using my medium sized bender. As you can see the felt tip pen mark is in the centre of the bend. In the outer part of the workshop I silver soldered a union cone on one end of the pipe. And here as always I'm using my Barco spanner to tighten the union nut. And even though certain viewers are forever telling me not to use an adjustable spanner I will continue to do so because this is a Barco and it doesn't mark the nuts. The piping to the sump needs to be quite even and neat. Here I'm bending the end of the pipe using my pipe bender. This first pipe will never contain any pressure. I'm only bending it down towards the sump for appearance's sake and when I put the grating in place as you can see it looks much more purposeful than it would be if it just pointed straight across. One down and two to go. The second pipe is a pressure pipe and it's from the blowdown valve on the water gauge. This is a very small cone union and if I use a piece of pipe to fit this it's going to be a little bit small and may block up with lime scale over a period. I have a better idea. I've fitted a piece of eighth of an inch diameter pipe in my Myford lathe and I'm reducing the diameter to fit inside the union cone. Sorry about the camera focusing on the wrong part but you can just about see what I'm doing. It was very hot in the workshop when I did this job but that was nothing to do with it, I was just being very incompetent. The union nut is a perfect fit on a 1 8 of an inch diameter pipe. All I needed to do was silver solder the union cone on the end of the piece of pipe where I reduced the diameter and now I can fit this in position. I'm really not a fan of the very thin capillary piping. I do prefer to use 1 8 of an inch diameter pipe. And here I'm making sure I bend it correctly at the other end. It's very important for all pipe work on a model steam plant to be as neat as you can possibly get it. Here I'm removing the union nut from one of the condenser fittings so I can move the pipe out of the way which will allow the other pipe to go through the middle. Once I'd managed to bend the pipe to the correct dimensions I refitted the union nut to the condenser. This small pipe is a pressure pipe and therefore needs to point downwards into the sump. Which means when I open the blowdown valve, the water goes into the sump rather than across the top of it. The third pipe to make is a very simple one, from the top of the condenser down to the sump grating. This by the way is not the finished job, it's just work in progress. I'll be fitting a bracket to support these three pieces of pipe and all three pieces of pipe will end up being bent and cut to the same length. This is quite close but not close enough. I'm going to open the blowdown valve. That's not bad, most of the water from the water gauge blowdown goes into the sump. That's about it for the steam and water piping. In the next episode I will be making the gas piping and although this appears simple it's a little bit more complicated than you first think. And the same could be said for my relationship with women in the past. That is it for this episode, it's time for me to go. Monday the 18th of July 2022, it's a very hot day. So stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.